Yo guys, what's going on and welcome to what is potentially the title deciding episode Well, it's actually not the title deciding episode uh, of the West Ham career mode It's pretty close to it, we've got 8 games left with 6 points ahead of Arsenal in this game If you can't tell already, I've still got this really bad cold But we're going to bear for it, I want to get this done before B for 18 comes out Because there'll be a lot more videos coming out of them Especially some more career mode but it's a difficult game that we've got to play today away at the Emirates to go nine points ahead of Arsenal. <coughs> oh dear. Um, yeah, this is a game we really should be looking to win. Arsenal will want to win it as well. But we've got to do what we do all season. Continue playing well. Continue to dominate and... Just do everything we, we normally do, you know, get goals, don't concede. You know, I'd take a 1-0 victory, you know. Uh, if it's not like I'm in a happy sort of mood, it's purely because I can't. And I don't feel like it, as like as it has a good shot there. And Zee sings in a corner for Mazuaku, who hits the underside of the bar. Really unfortunate not to score there. Uh, I think that we deserve the goal. Not just from the shot from Lacazette in the first place, but the goal... We were definitely hitting the the, uh, the bar from the corner as we intercept the ball. Are you goes? Do you know what, lads? I want to give this to Manu. Manu's gonna try. Manu gets completely wiped out by El Neni, who was a pain in my, who was a pain in my backside this game. But are you still on it here? Gives it to Kiase. Gives it to Tor. Lacazette, brilliant turn. Lacazette. Driven shot into the bottom corner. Jan or Black do nothing about it. We take the lead. And Lacazette finally gets back onto the score sheet in the Premier League. Because we've been simulating so many games recently. People, um, he hadn't scored in six games. and finally got a goal against Arsenal. Um, yeah. Pretty much, that was his 17th or 18th goal of the, of the season. I think it was his 17th. There was a great tackle there from Gokhan Tor that led up to half time. And yeah, I think we were we were pretty much the better side in the first half. Deserved a few more goals. Um I say the dominant side, they had more possession. Uh, Arsenal will typically dominate you at home in any game. So not really a big ooh. Didn't mean that much, but um yeah, if we want to win the league we've got to keep we've got to play better. And I think I uh, guaranteed myself Champions. I guarantee myself Champions League football if I win this game. As Lanzini goes down, Lacazette picks the ball up and strikes the bar. And Lanzini's still down there, and he did actually get injured. And quite an annoying thing because he's probably one of our better players, not just in the game but in real life. And it's kind of annoying that he got injured. As Byron takes a touch outside of the goal, the goal, the byline and as a throw in for Arsenal, ball played down for, well actually we tackle it away and you know, can we start a counter attack and maybe clinch a second goal for it, Caleri's come on for Lacazette, which is, I thought was a smart choice, he was quite tired as he goes round everyone and fires a shot straight out of Black, instead of putting it straight into the bottom corner or the top corner of the, of the net. We're coming towards the last eight minutes of the game with. They're attacking us to try and get a goal. We're trying to look to counter-attack them. Maybe get a second. As IU misplays a pass to Ramsey. Ramsey finds Sam Byram because they, they haven't got a lot of players back. And a lot of players that aren't in the right positions for him. As a long ball gets played for Mohamed El Nenny, who somehow outpaces Sam Byram. Gets a cross in to none other than Theo Walcott. No one picked him up in the middle of the box and Theo Walcott equalises in the 87th minute, the 86th minute of the game. And Arsenal level means we'll stay the same points away from, means we'll stay the same points ahead of them if they do end up drawing the game. But I think we were a bit unlucky to concede that because they didn't really need to. So Arsenal scored. It says the 87th, it did go in just after the 86th minute. But, um, Wolf Prowse, we were having none of it. 
We wanted to win. Played through for Ayu. Ball picked in for Caleri and immediately straight off, immediately after conceding the goal, we go up the other end and score in the 88th minute, which could which could prove to be one of the most important goals in our season and one of the uh, most important goals in Jonathan's Caleri's career for us. Just gets there ahead of Jan Black. He tried to palm it away and he couldn't. And he gets the second goal. But we did end up winning the game at the Emirates 2-1. Which is a fantastic result. If we're on, our, we're still on our way to winning the league. I think Arsenal were a very good side in that game. And probably deserved the and But I, I was going to say probably deserved the point. But we played better than them and obviously took our chances. And we hit the bar twice. But if you want to, in a minute, vote on the... Man of the match for the Arsenal game in the top right, click the I button and four options will come up for you to click on that. This is, it's, it's actually a milestone episode because it's episode 20 of the career mode. But here you go, you can vote for your man of the match now. But um, if you did like that, if you are enjoying the series, don't be afraid to like and subscribe as Manuel Lanzini is out for four weeks. Don't forget to like, subscribe and obviously turn the notifications on so you don't miss the final episodes back into simulation games we're playing Swansea at home they're actually bottom of the league can we get a really good result to pro propel ourselves um, 1-0 at home Andre Ayew scored against his former club some training more training than ever career mode for us but um, yeah today is the Tuesday before the FIFA comes out and it's going to be it's going to be a good one I can, I can feel it already FIFA as we play Sunderland away from home, they've got a similar. They've got a, a win drawn, a loss in their last three games, and we simulate and we win 2-1. Lacazette's 18th goal of the season comes from penalty spot. I thought it would have been Mark Noble, but apparently FIFA has other ideas. More training. Um, no one's going up in overall, but people are getting stats better. Stats better. Oh my god. And we're playing the FA Cup semi-final. As I said before, I wanted to simulate it because I didn't think it was that important to us. We've already won the cup and we're on course to win the Premier League. Obviously, a trophy is a trophy and a trophy is always good. As Ali takes the, uh, takes a chance, converts the chance and we go 1-0 up. I like simulating games on this as Islam Samani equalises. Simulating just takes a lot of time out of the game. And it can really speed up a season, especially if you're doing a long season. Like a West Ham career mode. As Arthur Mazuaku, who's been fine form for us recently, gets another goal. And we win the game and we're into the FA Cup final. And I can tell you what, it's against the one and only Chelsea who we beat in the in the Capital One Cup final. Or the EFL Cup final. But last bit of training before we end the episode off, guys. I wanted to say a big thank you for those of you who watched the video. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.